at this point, it is good to make a switch to the PC table because we will add the same lag material to the PC table too we created here for the chair. And then one problem will actually probably stand out and that is the texture stretch. And that's the reason why I wanted to also do this exercise so you understand also the limits and problems of texturing with images. Again, um, honestly, 3D rendering is all about making illusions, cutting corners as much as possible. And as long as somebody doesn't notice the issue, perfect. We don't need to point it out. So what I'm talking about, you see here, we have this face selected and in the UV editor, we can see how much this unwrapped face occupies vertically speaking, for example. Okay. Let's go to our PC table. I will use the lecture version. There it is. There and you see this is actually much, much longer. So how do we solve this problem? Can we even solve this problem? We can go to append, by the way, because we could recreate the whole material or I thought it might be interesting for you to see that. Go to here, go to material and where it is it. So there is the lagwood veneer and plywood append. Okay, so we put the material into this blend file. Then we can select this lag and apply it. Another slot and apply it. Go to material preview and well, <laughs> we get this insanity here. And this is all fine because we didn't really unwrap anything yet. So let's turn all this off first. We can hide everything else so we don't see it. Very good. Edit mode, there we are. Press a, everything is selected. Then we go to uh, edge and mark seam. Very nice. Besides this edge and this edge. No, this one we don't want to. Uh, sorry, um, edge clear seam. Then face select, we can go to this and this unwrap. We don't really see actually the wood texture but um, no, I mean, we could actually here pluck it in there so you can see how modular that interface in Blender is. So there's this and we're going to edit mode, select this uh, UV editor, not image editor there. So you see how, how much in this case, this lag occupies. This will mean when we bring in the lag of our chair, the texture will look much bigger. Let's go and do an append. Again, from this chair, I go to uh, object, uh, okay, where crossbar, seat, there, so these two, append, and this might bring over the whole chair, yeah, because it's all parented. RZ90 negative, go maybe to this view, yeah. Okay, so technically speaking on this lag for the chair, the texture is bigger than actually on the table. So if we want to fix this, see I selected both legs, also here this one, AA, deselect everything, and then I select UU, UU, also here this one, so I have a reference. Uh, so there you can see that is actually my, uh, my leg for the table. Okay, so can quickly eyeball this, which means um, a little bit.
bit up a little bit around 50 percent good yeah so size wise this is actually correct now okay since we are here let's do one more of a quick exercise for the plywood these two we select and then you and unwrap we would like to i'm using the mouse wheel to scroll i would like to use my plywood material then now uh, we apply or assign this material to there okay pretty good here i click l to select this r and 90 or r 180 flip it bring this down uh, z and y i'm scaling them down not z and y s and y sorry s and y and then g and y okay so they're pretty much the same scale along the y-axis g and y bring this up and now i can zoom in here and then s and y i try to simply scale everything so g and y it looks close good now here to make to match this to there i could either count the amount of of lines or also here again i select this and this go into edit mode select here this phase two or uh, i just left mouse button click this one so i can see where this is shift click this one ah okay now i can see the other very good there is still selected so g and y bring this down try to center it s and y g and y okay very good alt h or no alt h uh, i have to go middle mouse button scroll back to here and then we go back to the outliner so frame support there where's the tabletop refined okay pretty cool yeah so this way we actually brought in the material we appended it but then you saw also via the um, object append we can bring the whole thing over and then we match size wise the, the look of the texture by adjusting the UV mapping. Because again, it is important that this face proportionally occupies the same area on the image than this face based on the object size. Very good. This is everything for this part.